What's going on guys, Aljun Stasio here with FlightPath.com. Now in this video I want to talk to you about the new PG Y-Tech backpack. This is a very universal backpack that you're able to use in multiple scenarios. I've been able to use it to carry all my camera gear as well as all my travel stuff for the past few weeks now. So in this video let me walk you through a bunch of the features that this backpack has to offer. And before we get started this video is sponsored by PG Y-Tech so make sure you guys check out all the information about this backpack in the video description down below. And if you guys do follow me on social media you guys know I travel quite a bit so I'm always on the lookout for a good compact bag that also has room for it to expand out and in case I wanted to carry some clothes or other gear in my backpack while I'm on the road. And if you guys don't know PGY Tech, they've actually come out with a ton of drone accessories as well as camera accessories for Osmo Action GoPros as well as all of the drone lineups. Nice to see that they entered the backpack space and this is their first backpack. Let me walk you through exactly some of the features of this bag. Now as far as the outside of the bag, it has a very nice sleek look to it all the way around and especially even on the back has really really thick back padding for comfort. So just my initial impressions when I first saw it, it just has this very nice sleek look to it. Now for me, one of the very first things that I really liked about the bag is this right here. It's actually standing up. So a lot of backpacks that I've used in the past have always either fallen over or they're just not made to have a really flat bottom. So this was really cool because every time I'm traveling or I'm at the airport, you can just put it down on the ground and not have to worry about it falling back or falling over. It has a big flat bottom to it for you to just rest it and it'll stay sitting up without any problems. Now this is one of those bags that as you start exploring and using it more, you find little hidden gems all the way around. Uh, for instance, just like these little rubber hooks right here around the zippers. I don't really understand what they were, but come to find out they're anti-theft zipper hooks so that if someone tries to just open up your zipper just like that, you actually have to pull this out in order for you to use it. So little things like that where you start discovering little things about the bag that's just really cool and never really thought of initially until you really start using it. So let's go through the outer parts of the bag and let's start with the back. And like I mentioned, it has really thick back padding right here on the very back and also has this handle right here. So if you want to just kind of carry it as a standard kind of case, you're able to do that with this handle here. When it comes to the shoulder straps, there's a few hooks here. So if you wanted to hook up anything directly to your shoulder strap, like another camera, you can wrap that around, you can hook it on here. Uh, they also have elastic bands, which is kind of cool. So you can use these for things like your lens cap. So if you take your camera out of the bag and you want to hook up your lens cap, you just pull this out here, put your lens cap in and you're able to securely hold it while you're shooting. And on this side, you have a little pocket, which was pretty key for a lot of little things like memory cards, batteries. So if you don't want to reach all the into your bag, you're able to keep things out here. Of course, we have the standard chest strap. How you adjust it is really cool. It just slides up and down. So you're able to then reposition that right on the middle of your chest if you need to. And it even has things like this, like a little weatherproofing for this back area. And then at the very bottom of the bag, which I'm happy about because a lot of companies just seem to always forget to add some sort of pouch or weather covering. So you have a cover right at the very bottom of the backpack. So if you're out in the elements, you don't want to get it dirty or wet, you can actually just grab this pouch, wrap it up, and store it back here when you're all done. As we move on to the side of the bag, we have two large zippered pockets here, which give you access to what's on the inside of the bag. The very top area, we have it configured for your camera gear, and the bottom, we have it configured for a detachable pouch. Let me show you exactly how that works. Now to access this thing while it's on your bag, all you have to do is of course take it off one shoulder, sling it around, and then you open up this side pocket right here, and then you can grab now your camera directly from this side pouch. And what's also unique is that this little pocket here is an RFID protection. So if you have anything like your cards or if you have you know, your license or anything that you might be worried about it getting scanned, toss those in here. It is RFID protected when you have things in this pocket right here, which is a very unique thing that I haven't really seen on too many bags. And one of my favorite compartments is this one at the very bottom, which when you open it up, it actually has a couple things. You can actually grab this bag that comes right out and I'll show you exactly what's in here. I actually do have my drone in this bag. So you actually just slide it out, which is pretty simple, just like that. And what's unique about this little flap right here is it has a bunch of small pockets to be used for things like your battery or memory cards. And it has little indicators on it. So it goes from green to red. So if you have batteries that are still good, keep them on green. And if you deplete a battery, 
put it in that pocket, switches to red, then you know that everything in that pocket is pretty much uh, either dead or the memory card might be full or something like that. So little cool indicators right here on this inside pocket. And we'll go into a little bit more detail about this pouch and how I was able to use it in a second. For right now, I just want to show you exactly what is on the other side of the bag. And when you come around to this side of the bag, there's also two more compartments. The very top one is the one I like to use as my kind of quick access. So I'm gonna keep like things like my wallet or something like that while I'm traveling through the airport. Uh, your IDs or things like that that might need quick access to. Uh, but at the same time, I also have like things like my phone. So if you wanted to carry like your portable charger or power bank or anything like that, this is a perfect place to hold that because it's easily accessible when you're wearing the bag. And at the very bottom here, there's a large elastic pocket. If you want to hold things like a water bottle or a tripod, you can stuff that in here and it comes with straps to then hold it. So if you have something just like a large or full size tripod or even something smaller, just like these Joby tripods, you can put it in here wrap this around and the one thing that's nice about this bag is that there's a bunch of hooks that come around everywhere so if you want to hook anything to it and you can strap it down nice and tight you're able to do that with a bunch of these hooks and the hooks are actually kind of placed all around the bag which is really cool and for instance i have a large jacket that i just wanted to carry around with me you're able to put that right across the top just like that or if you have a towel or anything like a blanket jacket you're able to put a couple straps on there wrap it all the way across, and now you're able to hold something bigger to the front of your backpack. Now, speaking about the front of the backpack, here is one of the really cool features about this bag. By default, it comes as a 25 liter bag when this is all zipped up. But the one thing that's really cool is that if you open up this large front pocket here, you can actually expand the backpack out and there's another zipper on the inside. And when you use this compartment, it now converts it into a 35 liter bag. So there is a huge pocket here in the front for you to carry anything large. I was able to actually fit my gimbal, my Ronin SE on the inside of this, as well as a bunch of other tripods and other just kind of gear in this area that was a little bit more awkward to carry on the inside or just didn't really have an area to fit on the inside. This is a perfect pocket for that. So a large pocket right in the very front for you to carry large items. And once it's zipped up, everything is back to normal and nice and secured on the front. And to open up the bag, all you have to do is of course zip it open and flip it out. And here on the very top is a large pocket to hold your laptop as well as your iPad. I was actually able to carry two full-size 15-inch laptops in this pocket while I was traveling. And you can also put an iPad, say, on the front if you needed a little bit more room. And let's get to the main compartment area here. And the very top is customized right now for all of your camera gear. And at the very bottom here, we have that pouch that we talked about earlier. Right now, it actually is carrying my DJI Mavic 2 drone as well as my controller. But what I did on my recent trip for work is I took this one out. I didn't bring my drone for work, but I used this bottom area here for all of my clothes. So plenty of room for a night or two to have all your gear here at the very bottom as well as still kind of keep your camera gear here at the very top. Now when it comes to configuring your camera setup, of course everyone has a different configuration. They give you all of the dividers for you to customize how you want it split up. Right now I have it, you know, carrying things like my wireless mic, I have a camera in here, in my action cam, my filters, handheld tripod, power bank, my Narboc, my microphone, and as well as my drone setup right here. So this is the DJI Mavic 2 and it also has the smart controller. Now that pouch that is accessible from the side is this one right here. And this is really cool because of the fact that, same thing, it has a bunch of straps on it and hooks on it. But one of the things that they wanted to market it for was that in case you were somewhere outdoors in the elements and you didn't want to put all of your stuff down, you can actually hook up those straps to the bag itself and then hook this bag up to the backpack and you can actually carry everything right in front of you. So if you have a drone like this one is right here, you're able to then take everything out and have it accessible right on your waist instead of putting everything on the ground. But if you wanted to put things in here, this actually expands out. So just by unzipping it and say I wanted to carry around with me, you know, a small camera or another tripod or anything like that, my power bank, uh, you're able to put these at the very top and then throw that shoulder strap on there. Now you have kind of its own bag that you're able to carry around and maybe not even have to carry around the backpack. There's also a small pocket here at the very top of the bag where I would carry things like my filters. You can actually pull these out and fold this down. So if you wanted to use the bag as a full backpack that's just fully open here at the very bottom, you can actually push that down 
and now you can actually take out all the dividers in here and use this as just a regular full-size backpack to put whatever you want in there. And there it is, that's just a new one mo backpack by PGY Tech, the company that brought you all the drone accessories as well as filters and everything for your cameras have now created their own backpack, which I really like. Of course, if you guys want more information about this bag, links will be down below in the video description. And as always, if you guys got some value from my video, don't forget to hit that like button and always don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Astacio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.